Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, we are going to be making a Mewtwo surprise fold using a Master Ball. So hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to begin with our Mewtwo surprise fold, we want to first begin by folding up our paper. So the first thing we want to do is fold it like a birthday card. So you're going to take your paper, line up the corners, and you're just going to fold it in half. So you have a nice little birthday card. Next, you're going to take this and you want to fold this front flap down to the fold. So just take this front flap and fold it right down to the fold and then go right across here. Now this way you can open it up like this or you can turn it here and you can open it up like this. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to make our master ball on here, something that can contain Mewtwo. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take something circular and trace it. I'm going to use this little paint palette and it can be a little tricky trying to trace something on a folded piece of paper. So you want to really hold this down hard. I'm going to begin by fold, by tracing the top. So I'm just going to trace right across the top first. And then I'm going to start along the bottom and I'm going to trace here. So that way we get a nice little circular shape. Next what I want to do is I want to draw the little circle shape in here. And you can use anything you want to trace it, or you can just draw it yourself. I'm just going to use this little circle template that I have, and I'm just going to trace my circle right in here. So I'm going to trace here. And then I'm just going to trace down here. That way I get a nice little even circle. Next, what I'm going to do is I want to draw a line that goes above this and a line that goes below this. So I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to make a little curved line that goes above. Then I'll leave some space and I'll draw a little curved line that goes below. Then we just want to connect these lines to the edge. So you're just going to draw a nice straight line to the edge of your master ball here. So just go ahead and draw your lines all the way to the edge. Next, what we want to do is we want to make this look like a master ball. So the master ball has those two kind of really big pink ovals on the side. Usually they'd be sticking off, but we're just going to go and make them kind of inside of here. So I'm going to begin right here, and I just want to draw a little line that's going to curve all the way up to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve all the way up to here. And then, of course, the master ball has that letter M on here. You want to start above this little circle shape. You're going to make a line that goes up and down. Then you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to go up and down. So it looks like a letter M. But we want to make it 3D. Go ahead and draw two little lines on here. And then we're going to redraw that M. We're going to go up and down, up and down to make our little master ball shape. Now when we open it up, we have our master ball right here. But what we want to do is we want to make this go a little bit higher up. So I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a little line up here just a bit. And I'm going to draw these lines up just a bit. I'm also going to do the same thing here. We're going to draw these lines down just a little bit. That way we won't see any details in here when we start drawing. Next, I want to connect these lines across. So I like to just turn my paper. so. I can make a nice straight line across. Then I'll do the same thing on this one. We're just going to draw this line straight across. Now we have a nice master ball that is all closed up. And then when we open it, we can put whatever we want to in here. And we're going to put one of the most powerful Pokemon in here, and that is Mewtwo. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin with Mewtwo's eyes. I'm going to start here, kind of right where that little fold shape is, and just a little bit above it, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come out. 
I'm going to leave some space and I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go up and out. Then we're going to make a little line that goes out here at an angle and then one that goes out here at an angle. Then I'm going to make a little diagonal line inside of here. Next, we're going to make a little line that comes down inside of here. Then I'm going to add a small circle inside of each side. Then I'm just going to color this in. Now right here, we're going to make a line that comes down and then a line that comes down over here. Then we're going to make a little line that comes in at an angle and then one that comes in at an angle over here. Then we're just going to connect it. And right here we're going to add two little black dots for Mewtwo's nose. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line in, and I'm going to bring this line in. Then we want to make a line that goes down at an angle and then straight down. Down at an angle and then straight down. I'm going to leave some space. I'm going to make a little curved line here that has space on each side. Then I want to make his ears. We're going to draw a line that goes out, it's going to curve down, and then come down like this. So watch again, we're going to go out at an angle, it's going to angle down, it's going to come in, and then down here. I'm going to make two lines that come down here, and then we're going to make a little V shape right here. Now, starting over here, I want to make Mutu's kind of uh, little hands here, just to make it look like he's kind of like reaching out. So starting here, I'm going to make a circle shape like this for one of the fingers. I'm going to make another circle shape right here. And then one more right over here. We're going to make a little line that comes down here and then a little line that comes down here. We're going to leave a little space there. And then down here, I'm going to make a line that goes down and up and then down and up like this. Then right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down and then it's going to curve back like this. Starting here, we're going to make a line that goes out, and then it's going to curve down. And then over here, I'm going to make a line that curves out, and then it's going to come down. I'm going to make a line that goes down, and it's going to come over to here. I'll put a little line right in the middle. Then I'm going to make a little line down here and a little line down here from Mewtwo's body. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a little line down and a little line down. And then I'm just going to bring them all the way to the bottom. And then I just want to add the tail in here just for a little bit more detail. So I'm going to start here in this little space. And I'm going to draw a line that goes up. I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to curl it down. And it's going to come up. Then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to bring it all the way down to here.
And there you go, there's your drawing of your Mewtwo surprise fold. So when you close it up, you have your nice little master ball, but then when you open it, you have your Mewtwo in there ready to attack. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.